Have a look at this today. It's a Craftsman 18 inch uh, tiller. We got a 208cc Briggs and Stratton on it. It's almost identical to the engine I have on my snowblower. So, I think it's about 6.5 horsepower, but it's about close to what it is. It's not mine, it's my neighbor's, but he lets me borrow it. Oh, it was nice and clean. It's a mobile one, it's and thirty. I changed it last time. I used it. I used it. I got tucked on it. So I gotta clean this up. It's a bit rough. Well, it's right here. Just till and smooth it over. Hopefully, try to get the grass to grow back some. Mind you, it's two days till November, so hedge apples absolutely everywhere. It runs pretty good. The only thing I don't like about it is, is it kind of lopes, especially when there's no load on it. When you're tilling with it, you put a load on the engine, it runs smoothly, but it just kind of likes to idle up and down no matter where you're at in the rev range, so I might need the carburetor cleaned. I might do that if I have time. So yeah, I guess we'll start it up. It's, I guess you could call it a cold start. The engine's cold, but I had it running about an hour ago or so, and I Drove it in the back of my truck. There you go, it runs. Mind you, that was a cold start, so it's pretty good. You get the point, I'm not going to bother filming all of that, because for sure you don't want to watch me till all of that, because it'll probably get pretty boring, but you can see what I mean by it doesn't want to idle really good, because I just tried to idle it back then and it just stalled, so yeah, the carburetor needs to be cleaned, and it is fairly hard to keep it in a straight line, especially on the ground, because let's see, it's fairly bumpy and the ground is very hard, so because it hasn't rained in a while, so yeah, I'll just continue doing this.
have to stop to put some more gas in that because it's almost out. Mind you, it didn't have that much in the tank when I started, so I'm just cheap 87 octane. I don't bother running <clears throat> premium or anything because these engines just don't have the compression to burn the higher octane gas. Should be enough for now. Well, got it all done, so yeah. So after I put gas in this, I didn't really want to start up because there's carburetor problems, and I'm guessing it's clogging up some, so what I did is an old time trick is you pull off the air filter, dump some gas in the intake so you can prime it some and it'll start. And then put the choke on so it idles longer. And what you do is you just put your hand over the intake, or just put a rag over it. If it's, it's a bigger intake, you just do that. And what that does is it pulls a vacuum on the whole carburetor and uh, sucks some of the junk that's clogging the carburetor through the jets and stuff and unclogs your carburetor. It works fairly well in this case. So here's the air filter. It's got a foam pre filter on it. It's yellow paper underneath, it's still pretty clean, so that's good. Go down there. Just the cover. So now, just to smooth this all out, was this special rake I got. All finished. So here's how it looks. Looks pretty good, actually. I thought it looked worse, but yeah, so I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. So hopefully the grass will grow back. Probably won't grow too much because it's getting cold. So, so yeah. Thanks for watching.